hey guys welcome back for another video and in today's video we are going to talk about two new phones yeah i mean the one is a series and another is a new phone okay so first we will go to the phone and then the series the phone is the iq00 neo 3 it's finally launched in china and today we are going to talk about its main specifications so but before we start, make sure you check out our previous video where we have posted how to gain unlimited Instagram followers you, without using any money, cheats, hacks or tricks. It's totally free. So do check it out and also do check out our forthcoming video or the upcoming video which will feature, which we, which, in which we will talk about the all new Redmi 9. Okay. So first let us talk about the new phone which is iQ00 Neo 3 okay the iq00 neo 3 as you can see has two big colors the two colors are quite beautiful one is a beautiful blue another one is a blackish blue i love both the colors it's a 5g phone okay so let's check out its specs it flaunts a 6.57 inch fhd plus lcd display a brilliant 144 hertz refresh rate a decent snapdragon 865 it uh, up it provides up to 12 gb ram and up to 256 gb storage it offers a 48 MP plus 8 MP plus 2 MP triple camera. It's not a quad camera. It offers not an on-screen fingerprint scanner, a side fingerprint scanner. Now, since I think it's a gaming phone, it should have provided an on-screen fingerprint. Why you know? Because on-screen fingerprint is easier for gamers to play with. Okay. It offers an, good, uh, an average good battery, uh, which is 4500 mAh and a brilliant 40 watt, 44 watt fast charging. It, it's priced at 28999, that is 29000. You can also call it 30000 almost. So, if you check out overall, it is a good phone, okay? But um, there are many better gaming purpose gaming phones if you look for a gaming phone than this. And I would recommend the Realme X50 Pro really yeah that's a really good gaming phone and the iq00 iq003 yeah okay so now let's check out um, our next series which is the huawei nova 7 series now huawei uh, huawei has really made a very beautiful series i just love the designs okay so now let's check out its three there are three phones in this series let's check check them by one by one the first phone in the series is the huawei nova 7 um, you can see there are many colors of this phone, far black, red, green, violet and white. Okay, it's a 5G phone as well, so let's check out its specifications. It flaunts a 6.53 inch FHD plus OLED display, a high silicon Kirin 985 processor, a 64 MP plus 8 MP plus 8 MP plus 2 MP quad camera, a brilliant 32 MP front punch hole camera, um, an 8 GB RAM and up to 256 GB storage. It offers a um, average battery which is 4000 mAh and of good 40 watt charging. So I think it will charge um, in 75 minutes 200% 0 to 100% and it's priced uh, it, it isn't overpriced as well it's uh, it's an okay price 30 to 200. Now let's check out the next phone in the series which is the Huawei Nova 7 SE. Okay, so the Huawei Nova 7 SE offers a 6.5 inch FHD plus IPS LCD display, a high silicon Kirin 820 processor, the previous one was 985, this is 820. So yeah, there will be some difference in performances and it also offers a 64 MP quad camera, uh, but earlier one provided a 32 MP front punch hole camera, it provides a 16 MP front punch hole camera. So camera, camera, camera depends as well. It offers an 8GB RAM and 256GB storage, same battery, 4000mAh plus 40W charging. It offers much less, yeah, I mean, no, it does not offer much less, it's priced much less. Yeah, that was priced at 32200 it's priced at 25780 So, I am going to say, yeah, yeah, you can go for this, it's a really good phone. Okay, so now let's check out the next phone which is the Huawei Nova 7 Pro. This is the best phone in this series and it also offers the best features. It offers a 6.57 inch FHD plus OLED display and high silicon Kirin 985 processor just like the Huawei Nova 7. It also offers a 64 MP quad camera, a 32 MP plus 8 MP dual front punch hole camera. Okay, so it's a beautiful color. I just love it. Awesome. The on-screen fingerprint also looks good and the red color, wow. 
it also offers an 8 gb ram and 256 gb storage and the same battery plus 40 watt charging i think it's slightly overpriced it should have been priced at 36 or 35000 but it's almost 40000 in price 39750 um so okay okay you can go for it okay um, but it's completely your decision because I don't think these phones offer Google services. Anyways, so hope you like this video and like, share, subscribe, comment and I will be back with my next video featuring the Redmi 10X or the Redmi 9, whatever you can call. Okay, so bye and take care. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay home.